I found it. I found my tray. Ha ha ha. She finds little gems everywhere she goes. Yes, I do. It's been a day. It's been a day. First, I just want to give the biggest thank you to all of you who have been asking about Noah, who have, um, so many of you sent just a donation through PayPal, and um, I took that money and I went and got him a Nintendo Switch Lite, yes. <laughs> um, because he was bored to tears. And so I was able to go get him that because of you guys. Um, so I just left him just a few minutes ago. He's he's doing okay. He's kind of grumpy. Um, hospital food's not bad. So he's, he's stable, he's doing okay. We still don't know what's going to happen. They're going to rerun his labs tomorrow, see where his white cell count, his infection. There's some infection number that they look at. And then the surgeon is going to come in and assess him and decide where we go next. Um, so your continued prayers is absolutely welcome and appreciated. So um, don't think poorly of me, but I am at Goodwill. And I'm at Goodwill because I need to get my mind off of all this for just a little bit. Noah's good. He's in good hands. The nurses are taking good care of him. And uh, I'm going to go just do a quick trip in here because I also need to make a video. Uh, so I am not going to put any restrictions on myself. I'm just going to come in here tonight and unwind with some fun shopping and look for things that I can turn around and resell on one of my platforms. So come along with me. Let's go get shop done. Let's see what we can find. All right. First things first. Got to get in here and get a lucky cart. I think this is the one. Let's go. Oh, and we're still blue tags or 50%. All right. I'm going to start in the fun stuff tonight. Here is, oh, gosh darn it. Did I just cut myself on that? Something on there is really sharp. Yeah. Ooh, that was not a good way to start. Okay, well, yeah, look it, drew blood. All right, let's see if they have a Band-Aid tonight. This time they had a Band-Aid, so I'm good to go. All right, well, I got him to take that piece off the floor, too, because that was, you couldn't even see it coming. This is a piece of fused glass. It's kind of cool, you know what? And I'm not going to limit myself this time, so I'm going to pick this up for $1.99, because I just like it. All right, they got lots of collector plates, which don't excite me at all. Let's see what you are. It's under there, but I see CVS Pharmacy, so... I know that's not one of the high-end ones. This little guy's cute. It's from Craftex. It's like a little hobby piece. Eh, he doesn't super excite me. These coasters kind of excite me though. Nice marble, really heavy duty kind of marble coasters for $2.99, set of four. I'm gonna grab those. Okie dokie. These shelves are not as full as they normally are. Oh, well, because it's a Saturday. I never shop on Saturdays. That's why. Look at all of the flash coloring. It's pretty much worn off of that. That's what it is. And blue tags are like a dollar today. So the shelves are going to be a little wiped out. That's a cute little nun doll there. Oh, hello. What are you? Your little uh, tin picnic basket. It's pretty dented and it's 10 bucks. It's made by Dur. What is it made by? Deco. Decomore? Decomore? Something like that. Really, really. 
really cute piece of decor. I wish it wasn't so dented in. But you know what I think? I think this could totally still get used in someone's collection or decor or it's super vintage. Somebody might even be able to fix that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up. I might not have all my senses about me tonight, but you know what? That could be fun. These are, I'm not sure I see, oh, it's Bella. They're Bella Casa. Just making sure they weren't like Mackenzie Child or something like that. Oh, look at this fan down here. It's like, it's, um, it's like a Scirocco wood or like that, you know, home co. Let's see. It's probably got a Roman numeral. Hold on. So I can see underneath here. It's, I see the beginnings of B-U-R. So it's Burwood and it's only $7.99. So that baby's coming with me. Look how pretty that is. All right. Now we are looking in the candle stuff. This is 30 crystal blocks is formed by numbers of pieces of jigsaw puzzle. Well, that looks interesting. Huh. I'm going to take a peek inside of there. So it's like a model kit, it looks like. And it doesn't look like it's ever been done. So I'm thinking Rachel might really enjoy this. And uh, it is a horse. So it's $1.99. I'm going to pick that up for Rachel. All right. Let's see. What other goodies? This is a little thermometer. It's an obelisk thermometer. It says it's 75 in here. I guess that could be right. It's a really cheap thermometer on there, so for that reason I'm gonna leave it. If that had been like a real, real thermometer, I probably would have picked it up. Oh, I gotta tell ya, don't ever buy these. Um, I shouldn't say don't ever. If you're gonna buy them, you know, make sure that the, uh, the material that you use to make the footprint is still viable because I picked up some of these and I, I wanted to use one um, before Xena passed. And when I took it out, it was like hard as a rock and we were not able to do it. So just a little word of caution. That is Becky's bunny right there. Nice little poinsettia jar. Oh, look how cute these guys are. They're just resin though. So um, not super old and not even super collectible, just just kind of cute. So that one we will leave. I do see the uh, M&M jar. Oh, it's got a big crack right there. It's $4.99. Might have picked that up had it not had that big crack. All right, we are in the metals which are all blending into the shelves I'm afraid because everything is like black metal on black shelves so I'm probably gonna get through here fairly quickly because it's gonna be a little boring unless you know something stands out Ooh, look at all these plate hangers we can actually use some more of these down at the booth I got about 10 of them so that should put us in good shape for a while Okay, this, this tin is really interesting because it's, it's like three, well, it's not really, I guess it, you would call that 3D kind of embossed. I don't know, what's the term I want to use for something that's, it's like, it's not only got the, like, the texture, but it's, it's kind of curved and raised too. It's $4.99. I think I can do okay with that. And then underneath it is this little guy who is also one of those like Scirocco wood or... Yeah, this one even says Scirocco. All right, let me see if I can do my Roman numerals. It's 19, uh, 1975, is that 75? Did I get it right this time? I might have. How much is it? It's not priced. You know what, they'll give me a good price on it. I'm gonna grab it. All right, let's see what else is on the metals. It's kind of cool. Uh, I don't see anything super exciting. This is worth a look. It's kind of pretty. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. It doesn't it doesn't really super grab me. On the other hand, this little aluminum uh, butterfly trivet, 
for $2.99. Kind of gets me. I kind of think I have to have that. All right, on this side is the woods, which is actually a row I usually start on. And I didn't this time, which is okay. Because nothing's really full this time. So hold tight to everything that touches your heart. Boy, ain't that the truth. Feeling that right now in a big way. The daisy is the children's flower. They love to gather it. It's kind of cute. But not something that I feel like picking up today. Oh, this is like a brand new Coca-Cola standard truck body with popcorn in it. I wonder what year that's from. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a big Coca-Cola collectible fan. Eh. So I will leave that for somebody else and take a peek at this little wood... Uh, carving from 04. Looks like it's supposed to be like Bourbon Street. Oh, they had $20 on him. Alright, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? We've got another strawberry thing. Not a, oh, it's a recipe minder. This would only be a dollar. So, we are going to pick that up. Alright, I see a chest game. I wonder if the pieces are in there. I don't know if they are or not. Because I need to look at this Easter little placky thingy. Yeah, it, just, it came from Hobby Lobby. I am intrigued by this. Oh, the pieces are in there, but we don't know if all the pieces are in there. So it looks like you know what, I'm gonna have to do some tape peeling on this. All right, so I'm kind of peeking in here and it looks like it's got different games. I see Chinese checkers. Uh, I think there's chess and then regular checkers and then these are different boards. It's only $10, I'm grabbing this. There's a box here with a couple of wine glasses in it. Just gotta peek and make sure they're not something, I'm sorry, not wine glasses, those are martini glasses. I knew that, I knew that. What do we got here? Home sweet home. Kind of cute little 90s kind of a thing. Yeah. Sort of interesting, but yeah. Those don't excite me. Okay, this is interesting. I think it's supposed to be like a whale swallowing a person. That is interesting enough for me to pick it up for $2.99. So uh, that's coming with me. So I was just talking to the manager and she said, yeah, it was super busy today and it will take them a couple of days to uh, get the shelves restocked back up, but they will, they will. Oh, little pair. I don't wanna pay $3.99 for the pair though. But you know what? We can still find treasures because I mean, people don't buy everything. They're looking for certain things and uh, you never know what they're gonna leave behind, like a green kitchen jar. No, I don't want that. It's <laughs> had to look though. All right, I don't see, that's a, I can just tell that blue vase back there is kind of a cheap modern piece. You just learn. You just learn after a while. But this looks like it could have some quality to it. This one is intriguing. I can see there's some age on it. I don't see a mark though. And because I don't because I don't see a mark, it makes it really hard to market it as any particular maker that's gonna come up in a search. And that's why I tend to leave stuff like this behind, just because it's really hard to market, even though it's a this is a really nice quality base. But I'm gonna leave it. I am, however, going to look at the cranberry glass that is most likely a Fenton or possibly like a Westmoreland. I could just tell by feeling it, and it's only $2.99, so we're grabbing that. And then gonna look in the clear glass but I was kind of attracted down here to this box always let the sun shine on you and oh, they've got it taped shut 
which is unfortunate because it's paper and when you pull that tape the likelihood of that tearing is very high I mean you can heat it up with a blow dryer I know all the tricks but I still you know the risk is there for something that's not that high quality but look at this little girl it's a mermaid and does she still mermaid around let's see got her drawer. She's a little keeper. Where do you wind her? Yes. Unfortunately, the little winder is gone. Gone, 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 gone. Otherwise, that would have been cute. That would have been cute. It always makes me get down here, though, and look and see what's in here so I don't miss anything really good because you can find gems mixed in with the clear glass. So my favorite employee here was just telling me that she was carrying this fan around today and fanning herself with it saying, oh, it's so hot in here. <laughs> so they were having fun with the fan. Well, I was really excited to find this piece until I spotted that. Darn it. Um, this, is, um, this is Temptations. I'm pretty sure this is not complete. This would have um, sat on something else, actually. This, I think, is the stand. I think it's upside down, maybe? Is that the bottom? I mean, is that the cake plate part? I don't know how that would have gone. Huh, I might have to look up what that piece was, but it doesn't matter because that that's a deal breaker. This is sitting over in the um, pet supply section over here. Uh, it is a milk glass bowl. Pretty one. I just, I can't, I just don't get excited by the milk glass. Even though it's only $2.99, that's a really, really good, okay. You know what, you guys are just hollering at me through the TV saying, put it in your cart for $2.99. So I'm going to, I'm going to. All right, let's look through plates really quickly. Bobby Flay's burgers, fries, and shakes. Noah's not a cookbook guy. Because I know a lot of you are like, hey, you need to get that for Noah. He's not a cookbook guy. He likes he likes experimenting. He's more of like a master chef kind of a guy who just give him the ingredients and he wants to just play around and make his own thing. So uh gotta love that. Now these are only a dollar. I know I looked at these before, these Nature Garden Society plates. There's three they're really pretty though. What could you do with those besides them just being plates for a dollar? Okay, I gotta get them. And then I spot this guy. I think I spotted this guy before too. This I just, I don't know what I would do with just a single bowl. These are satin glass. For $2.99 for four satin glass plates. They're not saucers. If they were saucers, I would leave them. The fact that they're satin glass, and they're just little plates, I'm gonna pick them up. So see, you're probably thinking, my brain's doing really weird things tonight. I am I am shopping in the dishes. Like, I'm trying to figure out how many of these are taped together so I don't, no, nope, see? Ah! The tape is coming loose, so, oh, goodness. Uh, these are Sakura Coral Reef. <gasps> you know what, you know what, you know what? I know this is a good pattern. Uh, because I have some other pieces of this pattern or had some other pieces of this pattern and this is a good pattern. So I'm gonna pick up, let's see, it's $4 for one, two, three, four. I've got seven of those and then there's, oh gosh, let me, let me straighten this out. Six of those and six of those. This one was $3.99, this one they had a $4.99 but she'll probably sell it to me for $3.99. So I'm good with that. I'm good with six plates for even $4.99. So I'm getting those. Up on the top is this really pretty, I think it's a, well, it's not a Delft. It's made in Holland. It could be Delft. Really pretty. It's got some flow blue in it. That one I am gonna leave though. Probably only like a, maybe 10 to 15 at the most dollar plate. So let me just peek and make sure there's no more of that coral reef pattern because I don't want you guys telling me, hey, you missed some more of that over on the other shelf. So, peeking, peeking, what are these? Holy moly, those are, uh, well, they're Rachel Ray round and square. I don't know, are those a thing? Is that more of them? I don't know. Those are big, heavy duty dishes. I 
Now I'm like, I'm just peeking, I'm just making sure I'm not leaving any fishies behind. All right, what do we have over in the glasses? I think these are Pioneer Women. They're the clear. They're not super exciting to me. There are some kids, not kids, like teenager kids, playing with a bowling ball over by the furniture. And they're gonna get in trouble here pretty soon, I would suspect. My goodness. Oh, these are kind of nice with the little colored bases. Yeah, I'd prefer there be four of those though, not just two. So I keep my eyes open and see if there's any more. If not, I'm gonna leave them. Oh, look, there's more of these Pioneer Woman glasses in a different shape. Those are like water goblets, but I'm a little intrigued about what these are. With these little etched dots. They're $2 a glass. Hmm, there's only three of them. I'm gonna leave them. Kind of nice though. Must say. What do we got over here? We got some painted. Oh, these are still here. Remember I found some smaller ones of these a couple videos back? I don't even remember. They were like a tequila brand made them. Oh, look at my little crooked stems that I love for $1.49 each. Look at one, two, three, four. Let's see. Make sure they're all in good shape. This one looks like it's, is it supposed to be? Man, I think I saw the clear one last time and they didn't have the colored ones out. So you know what, I'm gonna pick those up for $1.99 each. All right, I got those in the cart. Let's see what year these Kentucky Derby glasses, these look really new. 1987 though, it's not that new, but uh, these just, I don't know, there's something about them that's just off. I don't, I don't much like them. These look like really nice quality crystal, but not signed, so really, again, hard to market as anything, but just nice wine glasses. But then there's these. These are, everyone could use more, oh, they're TGI Fridays. All right, well, I think somebody walked off with glasses. They weren't supposed to at TGI Fridays. Yes, I see it. I see this one. Big, beautiful, green. This would make a nice planter accent piece. I could just see this even in a vintage collection. It's got that emerald green thing going. It's $4.99. I will pick this up. All right, let's look through the wine. The wine. The coffee mugs. I almost said wine glasses. Maybe it's because I need more coffee. No, I don't drink coffee. I don't drink the coffee. No, I don't see anything exciting in the cups today. Okay, I found it. I found my tray. Ha ha ha. She finds little gems everywhere she goes. Yes, I do. I, how much is this? $2.99? You know I gotta get that. Then, you know I was, I was looking, that's a real candle, but I was looking at these uh, battery operated candles at Lowe's. They're so expensive. I haven't looked at what the resale value is on them, but I am gonna look now because, man oh man are they pricey. Carlisle, crystal cut oil candle lamp. Huh, I haven't heard of Carlisle check out who makes this one it's got a mark on there but I don't know who that is it's got like a confetti thing going you know what missed that the first time I looked at it I think I'm gonna pick this up because it's really quite interesting and it's only $3.99 and right up here on top is a set of Place mats. They look like Pimpernel, but they don't say Pimpernel. They're English country cottages. They're English life made in England, and they're $3.99. And they're really cute little country cottages. I think there's four different ones in here. Let's take a peek. 
Is that different than that? Yep, they're all different. It's like, these are really sweet. Yeah, let's get those. All right, well, we're filling up a cart. Is this Pioneer Woman? Kind of looks like it, sure is. And it's $3.99 for that one. Now, I don't know how well this pattern does. Hmm. You know what I think? I'm gonna leave that one behind just because it's not something I wanna ship. Pioneer, the Pioneer Woman stuff that I pick up, it sells better online than locally because we, we have the local market for it. You know, like if they sell it at Walmart, um, but it sells better to places that are like rural, that don't have a Walmart that they can just go to to get it. And that's why it sells so good online. But I don't like shipping things like this. So for that reason, I'm gonna leave it behind. All right, look how fun this jar lid is. It's got cards and dice and money <laughs> in sand. I'm kind of digging it. It's $2.99. I even like the shape of the jar itself. Um, it's got a $2 bill in it, which makes me think it's uh, somewhat vintage. So I'm gonna grab that also. All right, let's see what else is on these little goody shelves. More fish plates. Oh. I don't buy those anymore. I can't sell them. And I used to be able to sell them. And then I think the market just got so saturated with them that you can't sell them for much anymore. So I don't pick those up like I used to. It's cute. Pretty red, bright red trivet that we don't need, but we'll put it down here to give this little shelf a chance of stuff to sell. And let's look, ooh. Do you see it? You see that pretty little leaf serving dish? Who makes that? Hold on. Grabbing it wrong. Don't want to drop anything. Siam Celadon Wood Ash Glaze, handmade in Thailand. It is $7.99, but you know what? I think that is beautiful enough to do pretty darn good. We have a Leaning Tower of Pisa. I don't know, is it a vase? I think it's a vase. That's kind of cool, huh? Or you could put like kitchen utensil in it or something. Or paintbrushes. Or all kinds of things. It's $1.99. I think I'm going to get it. Oh, look at these with the pretty iridescent middles on them. Don't know who makes them. I like them, but I think I'm going to leave them. I'm starting to feel a little bit of anxiety about how much stuff is in the cart. So I'm going to get to the point here where I'm going to be a little pickier as I finish out this shopping trip. Uh, just because. Look at this single reindeer. I wish there was more of these. I like him. He's 69 cents. Okay, I can do something with the reindeer coaster thingy for 69 cents. All right, let's look at, ooh, that's got a big crack. World Market. World Market's pretty good. It's not, you know, super, super high end. Here's another item that I love to do giveaways in my live sales. So that's another little item that I'm gonna get for 69 cents to give away. Okay, I'm having a little trouble figuring out what is this piece? What would you put in there? It's kind of odd. It's almost like a deep doggy dish or something. But I, I know that's not what it is. I'm just trying to figure out what it is. As I look kind of, I'm, I'm digging back to here because this piece is still here. And I know this piece has a crack. But if this piece is a blue tag, I would rescue this piece. But this piece doesn't have any tag now. Err. Well, that's a little disappointing because the lid is cracked. Uh, no, no, no. I'm going to leave you. I'm going to leave you. Hopefully it'll be tagged at the, like a half price next week. You need to just look in all the aisles because you never know what's going to get Locked. I mean, she's not old, she's not anything, but I mean, there's a doll over here in the cookware. So you do have to look. I know, I see the Wilton guitar, it's dented. 
and these are wine stem charms. Oh, I thought they were cord wraps. I was going to pick them up for, I mean, I guess you could use them as cord wraps, but I'll let somebody get them to be wine charms as intended. All right, nothing here. It's kind of a nicely done needlepoint. Now, I do think this one, is this one needlepoint? Because it's not cross stitch, because it's all different stitches done on these flowers. And this one is only $3.99, so I'm gonna grab it. Oh, they got some interesting lamps again. That's not old. I was looking at the owl, another owl lamp. He's not, I don't know, there's something about him I'm not, I'm not digging so much. Another kind of a Chinese pottery lamp. All right, nothing that like super excites me this time. Oh, those wood ones. Did I see those last time? I don't know if I did or not. These brass bottoms, these. Oh, those are totally vintage. Oh, I might have to take a closer look. They're $10 each. Okay, they're really cool. I just can't, I can't deal with any more lamps right now. But this on the other hand, now this I know is cross stitch. Let me get super close there. It is cross stitch. It is cute as can be. And it is $4.99. Oh, it's got a note on the back. Mary, you are like a second spiritual mom to me and I truly appreciate your friendship. Love, Lou. Aw. So it was a gift. Unfortunately, it's now at Goodwill, but you know what? We're gonna save it for $4.99. Oh my goodness. Look at this gorgeous curio cabinet for 60 bucks. I'm dying right now because I want this so bad, but I have absolutely no way to get this home. No way. And they, they'll only hold it for 24 hours. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is killing me right now. I honestly, it's got the wood shelves in there. Darn, it's got the curved glass. What a gorgeous piece for just $60. All right, hope somebody gets down here and rescues this baby. All right, well, they close in 30 minutes and I don't wanna be that person that gets up to the counter right as, you know, they're closing. I also found another tub for $3.99, so picked that up because the move is still not quite done. So it can't hurt to have another tub. So I'm going to take my treasures and go check out. See you after the recap.
Well, that was really fun, and, and it worked out really good that they were really busy today, because then I'm sure there was, there was probably more stuff I would have put in the cart had it been like a full shopping trip day. So, um, I think I did okay. I think I did okay. Just want to give a little shout out to Desiree, who I met in line. So, good to, I love meeting you guys in person. Always say hi. Please, 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 always say hi. I love it. Um, thank you for watching the channel. And uh, now I got to get home to Rachel, who's been holding down the fort at home, taking care of all the animals at home while I have been at the hospital with Noah. And um, a funny little story. So the hospital provides one meal a day that they'll let me uh, have whatever, you know, the what's on the menu for, for that meal. So last night, which would have been Friday night, I told him I would be there for dinner, to have dinner with him. So they put in for me to have a, a guest plate and I was there at, you know, dinner time and they brought Noah's plate and I was like, they got one for me too? Oh, it should be coming on another cart. I waited. I waited 45 minutes and finally went out. I had to leave. I had to leave because I have to get home to Rachel. And um, they apologized and everything. Noah just texted me like five minutes ago and it's now almost eight o'clock and said, your dinner just arrived. <laughs> so Noah gets another dinner. <laughs> oh my goodness, hospitals. Uh, the nurses over there are really nice. He's over at um, Summerlin Hospital. The nurses are fantastic so far. Um, it's just kind of like the way things are done is a little maddening and frustrating and um, but can't blame the nurses. The nurses are, are working their behinds off, taking care of all the kids on the peds unit and we got there was a, um, a visiting service dog came through batman was there today can't believe noah didn't want to visit with batman come on what's wrong with the boy <laughs> all right i will continue to keep you updated on noah's progress um hopefully you know i, I don't know i i'm kind of i don't know what's going to happen um the surgeon will be talking to us well by the time you see this, we'll already have talked to us. And uh, so I will give an update on that on my Monday live at 1 p.m. Pacific time. I go live on Mondays. I'll give you an update on what's happening with Noah and um, whether they're going to just send him home on antibiotics, which seems crazy to me, or they're going to do surgery. We don't know. I have a feeling they're just going to send him home. I don't know. <laughs> so thank goodness his dad has insurance on him. That's all I can say. I mean, we have a big copay, but or a deductible, but I, I, that's okay. Well, we'll manage that. It's, you know, it could have been worse. Always, always can be worse. So always got to look at the bright side and get through things. So I am going to sign off now. You go be profitable and make it fun. And we will see you on the next one.